Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka the Bodega Cat, and I'm doing something a little bit inadvisable. Um, it's a lot inadvisable, honestly. I'm driving to the West Village. Let me explain. Before you think my brain cells have been slipping, I do have some logic behind it. I want to go work on my camper today and I want to get there as soon as possible. So I figured if I drive into the city, I can drive straight from Manhattan to my parents' house to get as much hours of sunlight working on my camper today as possible. But if I take the train into the city, then I have to take the train back to my apartment and then get my car and then go to my parents' house. So my idea was to go straight into the city with my car. Hope any of the gods are smiling upon me and give me a parking spot and then we'll shoot our video and then go to my parents house to work on my camper. I'm playing Russian roulette today. I'm feeling spicy. You know what? It could be my new chain. I went thrifting yesterday and I bought a chain. I was so proud of myself for not spending that much money and then I saw a chain that I've been wanting for a really long time and then I just got it. That being said, I work in jewelry and I know I got a good price for it so it's not like I wasted my money or anything but look. Maybe I'll show it to you in the sunlight later, but whatever. Long story short, I just thought I saw somebody crying and I was gonna go hug them, but they were just sneezing into their jacket. Today we're going to Spicy Moon! Have I been there before? Yes. However, Spicy Moon is one of my favorite restaurants in the city for a couple reasons. Number one, the food, fantastic. But number two, the people, I love them so much. They're, ah, oh, they're, sometimes you just meet good people and you're just like, Mmm, I appreciate you. So, we're gonna go back, we're gonna check out the new menu items because we haven't shot there in over a year, and we're gonna see what they have in store for us, so let's go! When was the last time we had a nice day in a video? It's not raining, it's not cloudy, it's not cold, it's actually beautiful! Look at New York City! I mean, look at the traffic in New York City. But you could tell, you could tell, look, look, look at the sky, look. Look, <gasps> so pretty, oh. I found a parking spot. Whoever prayed for me, thank you. <laughs> Is it four blocks away? Yes, but imagine I left it and then couldn't find anything closer and came back and someone else took it already. That would be devastating. Here it is. And let me show you something really neat. Look, it's Oliver. They have an Oliver sticker on the door. I love them so much. And they have this little seating area outside. <laughs> it's heated. It's like enclosed on three sides, but then the last side's open, obviously, for circulation. And they have heating from the top, which I might turn off because it's like really nice today. But I always love that option. Um, I think I'm just gonna run inside and pee real quick. I'm back. There is a very cute dog next to me in that direction that I got to pet. So my morning's going great. Okay, so the way the menu here works is that you get a paper menu and then you basically make marks on what you'd like and you hand your menu back. So I'm not quite sure what I want yet. Other than 100% the eggplant steamed buns because those are just way more delicious than you'd ever think they would be. What's your name? I'm TJ. TJ, Rebecca, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> you can order. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, go for it. The only thing I really want is an eggplant steamed bun because they're so good. Anything else then like you can just, whatever you think is good, yeah. Looks like TJ's picking out our food this morning. Let's see what happens. I just realized it was the dog I pet's birthday. I pet it on its birthday. I feel so blessed. All right, remember my one thing, my one caveat, the one thing I wanted ordered? It's here, and it's the eggplant steamed bun. Ooh, I'm gonna take a picture, and then we can tear it open together. Listen, I love Spicy Moon so much, right? But I'm always gonna be real with you. The eggplant steam bun, so good. I got the spicy tofu bun one time, it was all right. But like, why would you get that when you can get this? I once walked across Manhattan to get my hand on a couple of these. I don't understand. How do they make it so good? It's like garlicky and creamy and a little spicy. And a little sweet. Delicious. Look, look, look. That's, that's her. That's a dog I got to bed. She's so sweet. With whole judgment, there's a lot of food before us today. Let's go through everything one by one. We're gonna have to start with eating this because there's ice cream inside. It's guava on the outside, ice cream on the inside, and then a cookie underneath and peanut butter on top. I've had this before and it's delicious. 
Very interesting, like a peculiar flavor, but good. Chanterelle mushrooms, never had that before. Hen of the Woods mushrooms, never had this before. Husband and wife delicata squash. I realized I love delicata squash when I had the rings at Black Flamingo, so I'm super excited for this, but also never had it. Wontons and chili oil, this one I've had, but it's a classic. We have some stir fry glass noodles with like garlic and beyond meat. The smell coming off of this is unbelievably amazing. And then we have some Sichuan fried rice. Let's get straight to testing and tasting. Tasty testing. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm already sipping on this. This is an ube mule. And without question, this is the most delicious cocktail I've had in a very, 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 very long time. We're gonna be a little bit unconventional and do dessert first because it's ice cream, as I mentioned previously. So this is vanilla ice cream stuffed, pan seared, and chilled de-seeded mini guavas served on ginger snap cookies and house-made peanut butter. All of their desserts are like super interesting, so they have three options. The other two are mandarin orange dumplings or eight jewel rice cake stuffed dates. So unique, amazing. I wish I had a knife to like cut through this and like I'll try it with a fork. I'll try to give you a cross section of these babies. I don't know who makes the vanilla ice cream or they make it in house, but it's like really good. Ginger snack, guava, ice cream, peanut butter. The secret to eating these is to let them thaw a little bit because you want the guava to be soft. I've already kind of raved about the drink. Um, I've had ube in lots of different ways, but in a cocktail, never. And it's like citrusy and sparkly and this is literally going to be my go-to drink next time I come. What is in here? Butterfly pea infused vodka, lime ginger beer, ginger beer, hard kombucha, quant, quant, mm, I don't know. What is this? I don't know what that is, but this is what's in here. I know I don't like do number systems anymore, but rating wise, the drink, 10 out of 10. I mentioned before how good these glass noodles smell, so we're gonna do them first. So we got some stir-fried glass noodles. I'm sure there's like chili oil in there somewhere. I smell it. A bunch of veggies, whole ass pieces of garlic, and Beyond Meat. Spicy Moon has uh, a lot of different meat substitutes. They have some, some soy chunks available, some like bean curd, tofu, Beyond Meat, stuff like that. Or they have like just vegetable dishes if you're not looking to eat any uh, faux meats or tofu. One of their other dishes also has like the Beyond sausages, and that's really good. It's a little heavy, but it's really good. Mmm. I love that like Szechuan chili flavor. It's like spice with taste. Have you ever had like flavorless spice before? I don't know how to describe it, but this spice has flavor. And the Beyond meat, like there's like little crumbles of Beyond meat, but like Beyond meat's very flavorful. So it makes the whole dish taste very hearty and meaty. Delicious. Next up, let's try this delicata squash. They have a beautiful little flower on top. I know this is edible, but I'm not gonna eat it. Um, some like peanuts on top. Let me look at the description on the menu. Cause like, what does mother and father delicata squash even mean? Like, does that have a translation that I don't know about? I'm trying to find it on the menu. Husband and wife, not mother and father. Husband and wife, cold delicata squash flat noodles, thinly sliced, semi dehydrated deli delicata squash tripe, chili garlic oil, chopped peanuts, cilantro, and marigold flower blossom. So there's two different kinds of delicata squash in here. One kind of resembling a noodle and one resembling tripe. This is the dehydrated one and this is the noodley one. Flavor, very mild. Mild, fresh. A little bit sweet. It's okay. Yeah, it's just not very strong. Everything else here is flavored so much that my taste buds are like, eh. Now, while we're doing appetizers, let's do the dumplings. It just says ve ve vegetable wonton and chili oil. I don't know why I said dumpling. Sometimes I interchange them, but I know, I know they're not intercha interchangeable. Does anyone have the exact definition between a, uh, a dumpling and a wonton? They're different, I know they're different, but like, what is the exact specifier? I don't know, but here it is. Let's go. I'm gonna like bite half of it so we can see what's inside. It's creamy. I don't know why I expected like, you know, the usual, which is like chopped up veggies and mushrooms. Tofu and spinach? 
cheese and spinach? Cheese and spinach? I have no idea. I need to ask TJ. It's delicious though. This is really good. Considering it's like swimming in chili oil, it's not that spicy. I think most of the menu items here have like a little bit of heat, but I don't find many of them overwhelmingly spicy. I do have a mediumly high spice tolerance though. So if you do have like an issue with spice, I mean the place is called Spicy Moon, but um, you could ask them to have like dishes less spicy or whatever, or more spicy if you want it. Delicious. Next, let's go through the mushrooms. So this is what I, I, so I came to Spicy Moon like a few weeks ago with a friend and I almost got this dish. So I'm really glad that we get to try it today. This is some bougie shit. This is some bougie shit, ready? Hen of the Woods mushrooms. Like mushrooms are always like a little bit bougie, I feel like, but Hen of the Woods. So this is called the Hen of the Woods Mala Salad. Maitake mushrooms, bok choy, carrot, purple watercress, Hen of the Woods, sprouted pumpkin seeds with mala vinaigrette. I don't know what mala is. That is another thing we are gonna have to ask TJ. But I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a mushroom. Surprisingly very light. I know it said salad, but I was expecting it to be very heavy with like a sauce or something. Here's a little mushroom piece. You taste the vinaigrette, the watercress, very good, very fresh, and then the pumpkin seeds give a little bit of like a nutty flavor, and the vinaigrette is like a tiny bit sweet, and I don't think there's any spice in it. Like there's spice in my mouth, but I think it's leftover from another dish. Good, very light, very fresh. Mushroom round two, chanterelles. I may have never had a chanterelle. I don't know. Chanterelle mushrooms served in spicy cumin lemon butter sauce with briefly boiled sweet stemmed cauliflower. No, Collini? Is Collini like broccolini but with cauliflower? Broccolini like with cauliflower? Maybe. Glazed pecans and parsley garnish. I want. I want. I'm going straight for a mushroom. Shroom cheers. All right. I know this isn't Middle Eastern, but the cumin is giving me Middle Eastern vibes. The cumin and the squash. It tastes very homey to me, and this is probably the most like different dish I've had here. Cumin lemon butter vibes. Really good. And yeah, it looks like Collini is like broccolini but with cauliflower. Tastes like cauliflower. The mushroom in this one's super meaty. Similar texture to like um like soy meat or something. Last but not least, we have fried rice. A classic, a safe space for many. Can I get that big old scoop? Mm-hmm. Very good. Very flavorful. A little spicy. Very vegetable-y. But like in a little pop of flavor sort of way, not in like a mm, healthy vegetables, you know? Why? I almost rested the chopsticks straight up in the fried rice but that's very rude. My apologies, I put it down. My mouth is like warm and tingly from the Szechuan chili, but I really like it. I will be driving, so I'm not gonna finish this drink, but I'll just have one more sip. <sighs> Why so good? Final thoughts. <sighs> we all know I love this place, okay? We all know. But with any restaurant, some dishes are better than others, so I'm gonna chit chat with you about my favorites, some of which I had today, and some of which that I didn't get the chance to showcase today. I do have another video where I got to try a bunch of other things here, so I can leave that in the description box down below if you wanna see more options. They have a very big menu. This is what I recommend you get if you come, when you come. From my stomach to yours, get the eggplant steamed buns. So good. The dumplings and chili oil are really good. The glass noodles I just had are really good. But I think maybe my favorite main dish so far, uh, where is it? Are these dry pepper style, dry pepper style, like mixed vegetables and tofu. Oh. Another really good one is this three cup mixed vegetables. So good. Those are like, like two of my go-to items when I come here. When it comes to drinks, this is the best drink I've had here or elsewhere, so please try it. Especially if you like kombucha or ginger beer, it has that like sizzly, gingery, like, you know? And then when it comes to dessert, on the current menu, I've only tried this dessert. And obviously I like it, right? But the other two desserts look so interesting that I don't wanna discourage you from trying those. So do me a favor and try them and get back to me and let me know how they are, cause like next time I might branch out. But more than just the food, 
I love the vibe here. I love the people who work here. I've met the owner a few times and he's such a sweetheart. He does such great things for the community. Okay, this place just has good vibes. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna title this video. Because I've already shot it. Is it hype here, right? Whatever I title it, it is hype. Make your way down. Again, there's two locations in Manhattan. One on the East Village, one on, one on the West Village. But that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And I'm going to go build some more camper. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.